All right, guys. So, one of my pet peeves with grabbing a differential dump from Betaflight is that it doesn't dump the OSD. I use the same FPV camera in every drone. I use the same aspect ratio in every drone. All of my typical OSD elements are always going to line up the way I want because of that. And I really like having all of those elements exactly where I expect them to be. Today, I'm going to show you how to grab your OSD elements for use in a dump so that when you set up a new drone or restore your settings, maybe after a beta flight upgrade, you can just paste those OSD elements back into your config without having to drag them and drop them and grab screenshots and all that other stuff. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, before we jump to the good stuff, I want to remind you to make sure that you're subscribed to the FPV NoobTube channel and that you have joined the FPV NoobTube Facebook group. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and get in beta flight and let's head on down to the CLI tab. Now, what you're going to want to do, and you'll see right down here, is do a dump all. Now, I do this because a differential dump does not output the settings that I'm looking for, and as such, is not going to give me the OSD elements. So, once the dump all completes, what I want you to do is to scroll back up until you start seeing lines that start with set OSD. And what we're going to be able to do is just grab all of these OSD elements and copy those and paste those into a notepad document somewhere so that later on we can use those to just uh, copy and paste in as part of bringing over all of our settings. And then later on what you can do is bring this in by just pasting that into your CLI, hammering in a save command, and profiting from your genius. Tune in for more What's a Noob To Do's by clicking that subscribe button and maybe even ringing that bell so that you can be notified anytime one of these episodes goes live. Remember guys, to fly safe, be smart. Happy crashing.